go on down. This is all the scriptures is all good. It says, How you shepherds and cry and wallow yourselves in the ashes. You principal of the flock. Who are the principal of the flock? The leaders, man. You, you, uh, you, you fake pastors, man. Y'all supposed to be the leaders of the flock, man. Y'all, y'all the principal of the flock. For the days of your slaughter and of your dispersion are accomplished. And ye shall fall like a pleasant vessel. That's you pastors, man. It said, for the day of your of your slaughter, man, and your dispersion. You the one that separated the people from the true power. You have not told the people the real name. You have not pushed the truth to the people. All you did was suck money out of the community, man. You know? You aided in killing the people. Not telling them that the Lord is your how about shimmy how shy, man. You tell them that everybody uh, 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 can be together. You're not telling them that the Lord is coming from the nation for the nation of Israel. The Negroes and Latinos and the Native Americans, man. You have not told them, man. You have not fed the flock, man. You know, you have led the flock astray to death, man. It's slaughter, man. So therefore the Lord is going to kill you. And it says, and the shepherd shall have no way to flee, nor the principal of the flock to escape. So ain't gonna be no way, no way out. You're not gonna be able to try to run over here and be a part of this when all hell's breaking loose, man. You have your consolation, man. You chose, you chose, you chose to, to, uh, to lay in the bed with the philosophies and drink the wine with the with this whore, man. Took the 501c3 charter, man. You gave up your right to push the truth, man. Your first amendment right, you can't even push the truth, man. You know, you agree with the devil to push forth his lies, man, to our people. And it says, a voice of, of the cry of the shepherds and the howling of the principal of the flock shall be heard, for the Lord has spoiled their pastors, man. Meaning ain't gonna be no more churches, man. You know, everything, everything y'all own is gonna be burnt to the ground. That's why you see, a few years back, you heard you had uh, so many of those churches being burnt down, man. So y'all haven't really taught the people the right, the right way. So the Lord is getting ready to destroy y'all, man. Everything you own, all your possessions, is getting ready to be taken away, man. There ain't gonna be no more churches, man. He tells you in the scriptures, the imminent places, man, gonna be destroyed, man. You know, it says, and the peaceable habitation are cut down because of the fierce anger of the Lord Yahweh. Your peaceable habitation, yeah, your churches, man. Y'all go in there, y'all sit down and you fan yourself. You go in there when it's hot, they got the air conditioner on. When it's cold, you got the heater on. You got your prettiest clothes on. You comfortable, man. The reverend up there, uh, you have three or four passes. When he get tired, he sit down. That's why they always have a, a song selection. You'll sing two or three songs. You know, take a little, take a little rest, get off his feet. You're not coming out. You're not. You're not. You're not the true prophets, man. The true prophets are gonna be out here in season and out of season, man. Through through uh through all these inclement parts of weather. No matter if it's winter time, the prophets gonna be on the highways and byways, man. They gonna be through the winter, through the rain, through the snow. You know, enduring, man. Going through the afflictions, man. You know? Try to get brought through that fire of affliction. But now nah, y'all comfortable in them churches, man. That's why the Lord getting ready to destroy y'all. Getting ready to destroy y'all. Back in Joel 3 and 16, the Lord Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will, will be the hope of his people. So Yahweh gonna be the hope of the elect, man. And you have to know that name. Because there ain't no hope for you if you don't know that name, man. That's serious, man, to know that name, man. Says, the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel, man. 
we gonna be that shelter and that stronghold, man. That name is a strong tower. It tell you in uh, Proverbs 18, man. The Lord, the Lord, your house name is a strong tower, man. We gonna be that shelter for us, man. In that day of destruction, man. You know? Uh, let me get that. It's Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It says that day cometh, that day of the Lord, that day of thermonuclear destruction. It says it's going to come and it's going to burn as an oven, man. It says, and the proud, yeah, all they that do wickedly shall be stubble. It says the proud man, who well, we know the proud man, the so-called white man. The scriptures say, what you think about Haile Selassie? Haile Selassie? Yeah, what do you think about him? He ain't, he ain't the Lord. <laughs> it says, <laughs> it says, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, all they that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day cometh shall burn them up. And that day that's coming is thermonuclear destruction. That proud man is Esau, man. It says it's gonna burn him up, man. You know? You can talk about Haley Selassie. No, he ain't he ain't your Howard Shy, man. That's that motherfucker they say died on a toilet or something like that, I think. And that's a Jake too, man. Believing in that Ethiopian uh Ethiopian doctor, man. We were just talking about that, man. They believe in every philosophy, man. They don't want to come back to the truth. So therefore it's gonna be death unto him, man. It says, the Lord of hosts, that that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, man. So when, when them thermonuclear missiles hit over here, it's not gonna leave Esau that proud man neither root nor branch, man. This whole line is getting ready to be cut off, man. Ain't gonna be no more Edomites in this place, man. Or you other nations, two thirds of our own people. This nukes are gonna cut your whole generation line off from America, man. And it says, it says, but unto you that fear the name, the son of righteousness arise with the healing in his wings. But it says unto you that fear his name, man. That's the elect, man. The elect are gonna fear that name. Yahweh by Hashem Shai. It says unto you who fear the name, man. These people don't have fear for the Lord, man. If they did, they won't walk around in the door all proud, man. You know? And it says, and it says, but unto you that fear the name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. That healing in his wings, right? Healing in his wings is what? The chariots, man. Because this is the way that he's going to pick up the elect, man. When those missiles get shot, how are you going to get away from it when they shoot missiles on this place, man? You have to have something that's way out of the world to save you. And it's coming with the chariots, man. The Lord is going to have them chariots pick up the elect, man. This is the elect way out of this destruction, man. That's the healing in his wings. That's where you're going to be safe, man. That's, that's going to be the safety of our people, man. You know? Uh, let me, let me uh, pull that up right quick. Pull that up right quick. The healing in his wings. Let me pull that up. Let me pull it up. Give me, give me, lock it. Let me uh pull that up right quick. Uh, let me see chambers. Four and two, but unto you that fear the name shall the son of righteousness arise with the healing in his wings. And, and like I said, the healing in his wings is the chariots, man. That's how you're gonna get out of this destruction. 
uh, when the Lord beam you up, I'm going to get that scripture. It's Isaiah 26. Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Those chambers are the thermo, the uh, chariots, man. Escaping you from that thermonuclear destruction. The Lord says, come my people, the elect of his people. Because he already told you that all Israel is not going to be saved on this side. So these are the elect men. Come my people, enter into, the, into thy chambers, man. In them chariots, man. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, is it for, were for a little moment until the...